People realize if they I came to Michigan State from industry where I worked in the dairy industry with um, bacteria that are used to make cheese and yogurt and other fermented dairy products. And in dairies, there's a big problem where there's these viruses that kill the beneficial bacteria that we want around. They're the beneficial microbes and they were getting killed by these phage. So there's a sort of complex co-evolution going on in industry. And when I came to Michigan State, I was able to ask more basic questions about the underlying processes that drive that co-evolution. My name is Alita Burmeister, and I am a PhD student of microbiology and evolution. I came here because of Michigan State's um, sort of tradition in microbial ecology. And when I got here, it worked out really well because I ended up in the Lenski lab working um, with my advisor, Rich Lenski, on these problems using experimental evolution of microbes. So Rich, um, 26 years ago, started an experiment in the lab using E. coli and evolving it in the laboratory environment. And over those 26 years, he's kept the experiment going with the help of many grad students, and postdocs, and other scientists. And so we have this very large data set and a lot of experience doing experimental evolution. And um, as of today, we're at above 60,000 generations of E. coli. Let's get these cleaned and autoclaved, and then I'll show you the M90 stuff. Well, we're interested in the basic processes of how species and here. strains are related to one another and related to their environments. Here. Because if we can understand those processes, we can understand how the natural world has evolved to be the way it is and how it continues to support all of these different species that coexist in complex ecosystems. In science, we're constantly developing ourselves and other people to all learn how to do science and yeah, to do it better and to answer all these questions. At these lower I think that my experiences just, here will be well, very time, important because here I'm learning a lot of the, the basics and the theory and I'm working with a lot of different people who are helping me uh, learn to really think like a scientist and to do science and to communicate it. And those are skills that I'll carry with me wherever it is that I end up.